Hello, Superior YMCA. I am Jen, your Health and Wellness Director, and I am here with Jill and Ashley. How are we doing this morning, ladies? Good. Good. Hope you guys at home are doing just as well. Um, and I hope you've been enjoying our conversation talks and at least taking some little tidbits away from them that maybe you didn't know or that you wanted to try at home. Today, we're going to be talking about protein powders. I get a question, lots of questions at the gym too about what kind of proteins I use, how often do I have a shake? What's the brands that I like? So today, the three of us are just going to kind of go over our experience with protein, um, the kind of brands that we've tried, um, all that is out there to offer as well, and just kind of give you some general information about that. So next time you're at the store and you're thinking about buying some protein, um, maybe you'll find a brand that you like that we recommend it. So um, briefly here, uh, how many years have you guys been using like protein powders? Just since you've been at the gym, or has it been something that you had more kind of as a weight loss. I think a lot of people start with protein powders too as assisting in the meal replacement. So um. mm -hmm. I did kind of start out taking like protein powder for like weight loss and like as a meal replacement or those kind of shakes, but I soon figured out that I cannot drink whey protein. So I just, after I found that out, I just kind of completely stopped it up, stopped doing like protein shakes but in like the last year I've kind of been getting at it again because I do more of a organic vegan kind of protein powder now that's better with my stomach so just in this last year I started picking it up again <laughs> I think I started probably with some protein powders in like high school when um, kind of like I mentioned before, my doctor and like chiropractor were worried about me not having enough um, protein and calcium for my vegetarian <laughs> diet. So kind of been off and on, tried a lot of different brands and kind of different types of plant-based protein. So yeah. I've probably been kind of on and off with protein powders as well. Um, I've been you know, I kind of started my weight loss journey probably about 13 years ago. And I think that's kind of like your first go to of like, how am I going to minimize my calorie intake, you know, and you kind of go to it more as a meal replacement. Um, what I struggled with, I think the most was I mean, extremely like, I don't want to say I'm a really picky eater, but like, I'm a really picky person with flavors and aftertaste and textures. So um, all the protein powders that I tried, like it was horrible like I just didn't like the taste I didn't like the taste of like the artificial kind of sweetener kind of thing at the end I didn't um so I didn't really latch on to it very well it was like a struggle of like I'm going to try this one and then this one and then I find one that I kind of liked and then they would discontinue it because you know it just it was kind of a battle um so I probably had been like I said on and off for about 13 years and I know that I kind of preach that protein shake um, as a good recovery after um, the gym and stuff too and good for breakfast and again like if you listen into some of the other videos that we've done I'm kind of a hypocrite that way I'm do as I say not as I do because as if you guys saw on Facebook probably what a couple months ago we have like 30 tubs of protein probably at our house between Justin and I um, with all different flavors and stuff and he drinks them way more um, consistently than I do so but it's still nice to have the option when I feel like I want one so um, so with that being said um, Jill you said you can't do whey protein so you do more of like um, what kind of a base protein do you have then is it just like a Let's look. It's just plant based. Plant based. So, does it tell yeah. you what kind of plants are in it at all? Let's see. What's inside? <laughs> There's pea protein, the chia seed, brown rice. Um, I really look. You can show us your tub too, so people can mm -hmm. see like where you've got it from too. Getting real Good old on the bench. Walmart, you know. <laughs> Or no, I got this one online. I actually went to the Orgain website and got this one online, but you can get them at Walmart. Nice. Yeah, this is the one I do. This was kind of the first plant-based protein powder that I tried, and I really liked it. I liked the taste. It sat well with me. Like, there was no chalky aftertaste and stuff like that, and I more or less put my protein powder in smoothies. I can't... Mm -hmm drink them 
just with water or milk. So they have mm -hmm. to be with like smoothies and like you can don't even really taste it in there. But yeah, and it's kind of more on the affordable side. So mm -hmm. I like that feature. <laughs> Because there's some protein powders out there that I'm like, I don't want to pay $30, $40. Mm -hmm. <laughs> For sure. Oh, this was kind of like my first one I had. Like it. So I'm just, eh, I'll stick mm -hmm. to it. I don't drink it that much. But yeah. How many uh, calories to like uh, protein do you have in there? For like a. So, this one is. 150 calories for 21 grams of protein. Okay. That's nice. what this one is. And how many carbs does yours have in it? There are 15 grams of carbs, 4 grams of fat, and where are the sugars? Zero grams of sugar. Nice. Yeah. So how about you, Ashley? What uh, kind of protein do you use? Like I said, I've kind of experimented with a lot of them. Um, there's so many different kinds of plant-based proteins, whether it's like mm -hmm. hemp or soy or um, pea protein or like Jill said, and kind of the one I use now too is a blend of quite a few different ones just because not all plant proteins have the nine essential amino acids versus like your whey protein is going to have or your dairy-based protein is going to have all those without you really having to worry about that. Um, so I think probably the first one I tried was soy, which I'm okay with soy, but soy sometimes upsets my stomach if I have too much of it. So I think having one that was like only soy wasn't super great for my digestive system. So I kind of went away <laughs> from that, even though soy does have all those um, essential amino acids. But um, then I tried hemp, which is like green and it did not taste good. And it's like got all these other benefits, like different vitamins and minerals that not a lot of the other ones have, but the taste was just so, and I'm like Jill too. I don't even like drink it like straight up in a glass of milk or mm -hmm. water, but in like a smoothie, it was like still the overpowering like taste of, I don't even know what it tasted like, but it was. <laughs> <laughs> I prefer, well, like, usually I'll like most of the ones I've tried I prefer like more of a vanilla so it's not mm -hmm. like it's super flavorful but it doesn't it also helps kind of take some of that I don't know strong flavor of like I don't know if plants just have like that more strong flavor one way or the other kind of like what I was talking about in one of our other videos with like the gluten-free flowers like you can't just have one because it tastes exactly like that plant instead of kind of melding with the flavors you're trying to use it with but um and then I tried pea protein which I did like we don't have a Trader Joe's here so I can't buy that one <laughs> but, what's your protein powder look like um so this is the one I've been to lately garden of life brand um and i ordered this online through amazon and target actually has quite a few of theirs they have a lot of different ones they have like meal replacement ones that have a little bit more ingredients in them or they have ones with like greens added in them which i know some people you know have a hard time getting in those vegetables so it can be a good option to get one that has you know those added in there um, but this one is mostly just the protein and it does have like a probiotic blend in it as well um so it does sit a little better with me too i think just because it has those digestive aids in there um mm -hmm. mostly pea protein um and then it has some brown rice amaranth buckwheat millet cholera i don't know if i said that right quinoa chia seed garbanzo bean sprout lentil sprout azuki bean flax seed sunflower seed pumpkin seed, and sesame seed. Wow. Chock full of seeds. <laughs> Chock full of seeds. Yeah. It doesn't, it doesn't to me taste like any one of those, which I think is one of the reasons I like the flavor too. Mm -hmm. um, it does have a tiny bit of like stevia leaf extract, but it's not even like one gram um, of sugar. So mine has... Um, 20 grams of protein, 
two carbs, two grams of fat, and it's 110 calories. And then because it has all those different um, plant-based proteins in it, it does have all of the um, essential amino acids in a decent amount um, to make it beneficial. So. So what are those, when you talk about those um, essential amino acids, like the amounts, um, if people are looking on their, um, on their protein powders, like what's, like, can you show that label up on the, the screen, like what that looks like on yours? And is that like, can you read that or is that too small? Yeah. No, I can kind of read it. Yeah. Yeah. So you see like all of them are, I think the lowest one, which isn't even an essential one is like 500 milligrams but most of them are like closer to um like 700 to like a thousand milligrams of each one um so yeah you kind of want to see that they have i mean this has all the amino acids but then it does highlight you know which ones are essential and then which ones are branch chain amino acids which is obviously going to help you in building your Mm -hmm. muscle and your recovery um if you're using it you know for working out versus like weight loss um, so. jill does yours have that same label on nope. your <laughs> no <laughs> nope <laughs> I, know, I know i'm like ah, oh, it doesn't have that no that's okay this, this was the oh, this was the first one that i've tried like i haven't branched out or anything and i don't know i don't drink it as much so oh, yeah oh. I'll have this one for a while. That's okay though. Um, when I started mine, like I, I mean, I tried a lot of different ones that you could get like at Walmart and um, Target and I bought the smaller ones cause I never really knew what the flavor was going to be and generally didn't like them, didn't stick with it. Um, I did find one at GNC that was a soy based protein that I really did um, like actually. Um, it was kind of funny too, like once you would mix it, it would turn slightly green, which is funny, um, but it was you know, a flavored soy. Um, and I would just mix it with, uh, I'd make kind of more like a smoothie, I guess, out of it too. I would blend it with like um, canned pumpkin and I would make like a pumpkin pie shake. Sometimes I would put like one tablespoon of like funfetti cake batter mix in there, which to, does not make these things super healthy, don't get <laughs> Let's keep in mind, this was like 13 to 10 years ago and I was using it as a meal replacement. and. I still wanted to get through my sweet tooth and things like that. So I wasn't making them super healthy necessarily, but it probably was healthier than what I was actually eating as a meal. And it got me to want to eat that or drink them rather. Um, so, cause I kind of tried to doctor them up a little bit. Um, but I think I just saw like on um, Pinterest, I love Pinterest. Um, it's such a time waster, but I absolutely love scrolling. It's like my um, mind numbing for the end of my day. And I think I saw an ad for, um, Idealine on there probably I don't know I want to say like maybe two years ago um, and I this is what it looks like they have I know my lights kind of glaring on that a little bit but um, they have so many different flavors and what I like about I just order online obviously but they have a lot of deals all the time like if you buy one you can get one half off I think generally they're like $29 a piece um, but they always have a, a discount. They always have um, like half off or 20% off your purchase. Sometimes you can get like those, if you buy a protein, you can get like either a, um, a BCAA or like a pre-workout for free, things like that. And I just really like, I like how they taste. I think most importantly, mine is a whey protein um, isolate and I mean, there's so many different flavors it's unreal like my favorite is this chocolate coconut one um but they just came out with a new series that was gingerbread um maple syrup um they have vanilla and chocolate obviously and um chocolate mint they do have um like more of an evening protein which is kind of um interesting that I did purchase that is like a um, how they promoted it was more of like a slower release to help do your recovery as you sleep. And it was like um, German chocolate cake and butter pecan. So like if you had a sweet tooth at the end of the night, because I always have a sweet tooth, um, that was kind of my enticing to like, oh, I could have that. And then I could um, go to bed and still be somewhat healthy. Um, kind of the stats, I guess, on mine here too. Um, 
there's 30 servings in this container, which I think as we look, look towards like pricing, um, I mean, it's like a dollar. Justin does all this math, which is amazing. Um, I love him for that. But like for one scoop, you know, 30 servings. So if this was $30, you're paying like a dollar a shake plus milk or either water. So that's pretty inexpensive if you're looking at like going to potentially um, nothing against like I mean the cold fusions were really popular the, the like shops and those shake shops like that um, I've never been to one but I'm thinking that they're not super inexpensive actually but um, my protein is 20 grams of protein for one scoop and there is a hundred calories per scoop some of them have 90 depending on the flavors um, and my fat is zero grams. The carbs on this one are three grams, zero sugars. Um, this is a protein shake for women. It says for women. Um, Justin drinks this stuff too. He likes the flavor of it. So it has nothing to do with for women or not. Um, he hasn't turned into a It's really hard to find shakes that taste good and entice you to drink them. Um, they even have an iced coffee version right now, protein shake. Ooh. Coffee. Um, so, and this has all of the, uh, amino acids and stuff on the back as well, broken down. Um, so out of all the times that I've worked with protein, this has been my favorite brand, but again, keep in mind, I don't drink one every day. Like I've been home now for what, about two weeks, ladies. And my goal was like, I'm going to get up and I'm going to have my coffee. I'll have a shake for lunch. And like, cause our activity level is a little bit less than what it was at the gym and definitely want to, you know keep my progress that we've had when we had our normal gym life routine. Um, I haven't had one shake since I've been home. That was my goal. I haven't got there yet. I'll probably get into that good routine right before we get back to work. So, um, so yeah, but we did, um, I did do some other research here. We'll kind of branch off on this and like asking you guys to, to add into the comments, excuse me, like what kind of proteins do you like? Um, what flavors have you experienced with and maybe like what other recipes you've put into your um, your shakes? I guess a good thing to then ask would be you guys, did you put them into smoothies? I usually mix it with almond milk. And Justin does sometimes mix it with water. He can kind of handle that with more, with, you know. But a lot of times it's like a recovery. You do a hard workout and you're not going to that shake as like, this is gonna taste so good. You're going to it as like, my body needs this to replenish and I'm going to, add water and I'm going to chug it and I'm going to move on and I'm full and now I'm on my recovery. So I think that's kind of more how that is for me. You know, I want to make it like a Sunday and like blend it with ice and cake batter mix and a banana and like whipped cream, like you name it. Like I just want to make it super appealing. Do eight ounces to 12 ounces of almond milk. I don't like mine super thick, so I like it easier to drink. So sometimes I do put more um, liquid in than is required of it. I think it says eight ounces in there. Um, so for you guys, putting them into your smoothies, do you have more of like a yogurt or a milk-based smoothie or what do you, how do you build your smoothies? I do a little bit of both. I add some almond milk and then I do like a little kind of scoop of uh, Greek yogurt and then I add my berries or banana or peanut butter or whatever kind of flavor of smoothie I'm feeling that day, but usually it's just almond milk and kind of yogurt as like the base. And I don't add any ice because I freeze like my fruit. So I use that as like what makes nice. it kind of cold. Mm -hmm. so, toss in raspberries, blueberries, strawberries, banana, all that good stuff. Very cool. Yeah, I usually do a banana and a frozen banana and almond milk for sure um because like Bill said instead of like ice so it doesn't get as like watery um mm -hmm. and then yeah just kind of depending on like what flavor I'm in the mood for I like peanut butter as we all have known so peanut butter is super good in it maybe peanut butter and like dark chocolate like a couple dark chocolate chips in there or something um or more of like a fruity one like usually we have either like frozen mango on hand or like some kind of frozen berry um to throw in there um and sometimes i do add like extra um protein or fat things like black seed chia seed um what else do i have in there maybe coconut sometime um so yeah just kind of 
I like being able to customize it for whatever kind of mood I'm in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's good. I'm lazy. So blender <laughs> bottle, milk, powder, shake it up. <laughs> I feel like yours has more flavor. Like you have more flavor options though than like yeah. Yeah. that we're using. So it's like you don't necessarily need to add flavor. True. Mm -hmm. And like if anyone's just the vanilla, it's not. A lot of them are just chocolate, vanilla, or cookies and cream, right? I mean, that's kind of <laughs> common. That's like what you get. Um, or strawberry. Or strawberry. Um, but going on, um, like I said, I can even put in our, um, I'm sure you guys can see this, but if you're interested, like in any of these brands, like ladies, you can probably hold up all of yours here. We can like search online, see what you think. Um, a lot of different options out there for different proteins as well. But yeah, I think like even for you, Jill, I know you can't have whey protein, but they have other ones on there too. But it is interesting to see how many flavors, like they came out with like five new flavors. And of course we bought them because why wouldn't you buy gingerbread and maple syrup like protein? And that makes perfectly good sense. Make some protein um, pancakes with your maple syrup one. Yes. You know, Justin, I mean, in that too, that will kind of branch us off slightly. A little segue. <laughs> the Kodiak brand um, has protein pancakes mm -hmm. and those and those are really good um they even have other protein powders brands that have their own protein pancakes and waffle mix and stuff like that that are always really good or you probably could make your own right from your yeah. um, from your actual protein but i know mine i think you can even like it has like a ratio thing on the back that says like if you want to substitute it for flour like this is how much you would use because i think it's a little more dense than yeah, flour, but like, yeah, if you were to make some kind of like protein um, pancake or even like sometimes I add it to like protein balls or mm -hmm. um, like little energy bites kind of yeah. idea. Mm -hmm. So um, I did write down here like the seven best protein powders and uh, kind of what they, you know, recommended on online, who they are, who knows. I just searched it just to see what they recommended. They recommended. Um, whey protein was number one. Um, uh, and just to give a couple little things and ladies, you can kind of hop in here. Whey protein comes from milk. Um, a couple things that I literally just did research on about 10 minutes before this video. Um, promotes muscle mass and recovery. So that was kind of interesting to me too. And that's what I have um, in my protein powder. Anything else you guys want to say about whey protein besides it upsets Jill's stomach and, and Ashley's a vegetarian? <laughs> you had mentioned Ashley earlier about like isolate compared to like concentrate. Can you explain that? Like if somebody reads that on their, um, on their protein, like what that difference is? Yeah. So, I mean, basically you are, it's telling you how much protein per gram. So if you do the isolate versus the concentrate, you're going to see um, more per calorie um, for that protein instead of it being filled with other um, macronutrients, I guess, would be kind of how I would explain that. So isolate is what they want to look for technically so they can get more, um, more okay. for your calories. Excellent. And then the next one, number two here was casein protein. Um, like whey protein, it does um, come from milk. Um, and this is one that would be promoting like fullness and help with fat loss. So um, that's kind of the, it was casein protein that's in my evening protein powders that I don't drink. Um, but that would, it, it's not a whey protein, it's a casein protein to the difference in those. All right, so the next one on our list here is egg protein. Um, eggs are an excellent source of high quality protein. So um, have you ladies had any other experience like with egg protein? I don't even know if I've ever really seen it. Yeah, is it real no. to like a powder? Yeah. Hmm. I've heard of like egg white, I guess. Protein. So maybe that's what they're, it just said egg protein. So I don't know how you would make that though. That's interesting. There's a lot of different like proteins that I've seen or a lot of different things that you can add to shakes and stuff. And um, I think too, like, I mean, I was, I tried baking like vegan for a while just because I enjoyed baking and just to try something different. Um, but they do have like that egg replacement. Yeah. Um, 
that's the same thing, but it is like a powder. So maybe right. that's kind of that concept. But yeah, I haven't, uh, I haven't, I haven't even seen that on the shelf. But now I probably will look next time I go or Amazon just to kind of see what it, there is out there. Yeah. Like number three on the seven best, which is mm -hmm. maybe it just means more so in quality though, because it's probably got all of the, well, it does because it's an animal product. It has all the essential amino acids and yada, yada, yada. Yeah. <laughs> Yada, yada, yada. Um, number four is pea protein. Um, pea protein powder is especially popular among vegetarians, vegans, and people with all, um, not with all, with allergies or sensitivities to dairy eggs. So um, I am literally reading from my list here, but that's my little research paper. So um, again, I've seen pea protein. I haven't personally tried it, but um, Ashley, you have there too. So yeah, kind of interesting on the list. Any comments about that one? I mean, I would say I feel like from the ones I've tried, it's probably one of the more neutral tasting ones for one that is a plant-based protein. That is, if you just got it as like one um, single thing, like that that was the only thing that was in it. Um, and I think too, it's probably, I mean, I'm kind of surprised that it's not, that it's higher than soy on the list, but um, is soy on there? No. Mm -hmm. Now that you say that, yeah, soy's not even on this list. Yeah, just because um, I was trying to look at my notes I had here to find what I was looking for, but I can't find it. Oh. Anyways. I think it's, yeah, if they don't have soy on there, then it's probably like the highest. Um, the website I found this on was healthline.com. So. Because I know a lot of people have an, either an allergy or sensitivity to soy too. So I think mm -hmm. that's why it's probably one of the more popular ones nowadays as well, just because most people aren't allergic to peas. <laughs> Yes. Well, and this, and correct me if I'm wrong here too, like when I was drinking the soy stuff more too, I think like a handful of years ago, there was kind of a, um, a news thing that had gone out that, um, and I could be wrong. So again, this is just us talking, no black or white topics here. Um, that soy was like, could potentially cause with some infertility issues and things like that. Was that, did I read that right? More so with men. More so with men. Yeah. Okay. There's, there's like phytoestrogens in soy. And so if you're a guy, you don't want to have a ton of estrogen because okay. it's going to lower your testosterone level. Okay. And for a woman in terms of like fertility, soy actually might be helpful. But I think there was a big trend. And this was like before I really got into a lot of health and fitness stuff. Um, so I was quite a bit younger. Um, but there was like a huge like soy like production of like all these different foods and mm -hmm. like these supposedly healthier alternatives which were just made of like super crappy soy not like a legit like soybean or like you know and people were kind of going overboard with the soy and so I think that's kind of where they saw all of those issues start to come up okay it wasn't necessarily because you're drinking like one soy protein thing a day it was like oh, all my meals or this type of soy or mm -hmm. that kind of thing. It was just like, just like any kind of fad or trend that like you go a little bit too extreme. Overboard with. Instead yeah. of, oh, I could incorporate a little bit of soy to, you know, not quite eat maybe as much meat or whatever the case may be. Mm -hmm. But when you replace your whole diet with one thing, obviously your body is going to have trouble. I think when I had started, I did have that soy based protein first. And then that, I mean, that was a long time ago. So like 10 years ago, probably. Um, and that was kind of like the, the word, I guess I worked at a salon at the time and, you know, ladies, as they all get together, they like to chirp. So, um, I think what people read in the magazine, what they read online, what they tell you, it was just like, Oh, they say like, soy's not the best for you either that you should really limit your soy. Um, and so then that kind of got me thinking too, I obviously didn't drink my shake consistently or regularly enough to have it be a concern to me, but I was already in the health and wellness kind of field at the time. So I just found it kind of interesting because you do see these trends kind of blow up and you're like, oh, now it's all about soy. Now it's kind of like 
almond milk and like other alternatives, you know, that become a little bit more popular. But um, I had tried soy for quite some time. I actually enjoyed the taste of just regular soy milk. I would probably just drink it. Um, I'm not a fan of regular milk, so um, I was leaning more towards that route. I always would say like, when I was a kid, I was forced to drink milk. That's probably what ruined it for me. Thanks, parents. Um, but I always felt like I could taste the cow, and that's exactly what I would say. Like, I could, I feel like I could taste this poor cow, and, um, but almond milk, I'm not really one to even go and drink a glass, but I was like that with soy milk. I could actually, like, go and pour a small glass and drink it. I enjoyed it that much, um, but definitely is a little higher calorie, though, too, than almond milk, obviously. Now, maybe they have other alternatives that are a little bit better, but a um, little segue on that. Soy is not on this list. Um, it is not bad for you unless you are obsessed with it and are eating the powder dry. So don't do that. Please mix it with some milk. <laughs> well, I shouldn't do that with any of them, but yeah. Yes. No. If you really want your protein, just take it in as the powder. You don't even need to mix it. I'm just kidding. <laughs> just, spoon. just kidding. Do not do that at home unless you're going to record it and post it. You can do that. Um, so moving our list here um, after our pea protein was number four um, number five is hemp protein and Ashley you already had kind of mentioned that a little bit um, this says it's another plant-based supplement growing popularity that's kind of just was the basic headline on that one um, I, anything like hemp related we talked about CBD again a little bit too like that whole um, umbrella of things I think is just becoming very um, more readily accessible and more um, publicized. So I think people are more interested in trying it. Um, but do you have a comparison on the hemp one with taste wise then Ashley, if you've tried that one? Yeah, that was the one that was like green. green. That's not my favorite. I do like hemp seeds in and of themselves. Like I'll put those on like top of salads and things like that. They're white and they have like a little green like sprout kind of at the end of them. Um, but they do have that like omega-3, omega-6 fatty acid in them. And um, they have way more iron and magnesium than a lot of the other. Um, like what I was researching that I found before was um, has nearly double the iron content of rice protein, 40 times more iron than pea protein, and 10 times more magnesium than either rice or pea protein. It also has 25% of the daily value for zinc which is not found in any other plant-based protein powder. Oh, okay. So if you're looking well, and zinc for some other benefits, not just the protein, it's kind of a more all around. Yeah, because I know too, I mean, magnesium too helps with, you know, muscles and stuff as well. And like um, zinc is a good like immunity booster. So those are kind of some good, good ingredients in that as well. I yeah. think the green would turn me off. I'm a very colored person. When we talk to healthy food, you guys put spinach and stuff in your smoothies. Yeah, I won't even do that. Um, and Justin makes these amazing smoothies. He puts so much stuff in them and mixes them up. And then like, they start to separate after a while. So you can like see the layers in there. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, it doesn't look too appealing at all. So, mm -hmm. um, <laughs> but it's helping. It's, <clears throat> excuse me, sometimes it's more about the nutrients that you're getting from it than always how it um how it tastes so i feel um, like it's one like number six on our list here is brown rice. what was that i don't know the whole thing like froze for a sec i was just gonna say i think like hemp protein isn't like i haven't had it in a blended one and i think i would be okay having it in a blend of some kind but not i'm not a fan of it on its own um as like a straight up hemp protein so she's frozen again am i frozen yeah i don't we don't know what number six is because you're frozen <laughs> uh oh that's we're doing our best i hope when the, i hope when the computer freezes we freeze in like a really cool motion that's the only Your thing i can hope really right when you were like <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're, you're no, you're now. What? I can't hear you. I said you're fuzzy, but you're. We can hear you now. 
Yeah. Okay. You sounded like a robot for a minute there, Ashley. So I thought it was really cool. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Number six, brown rice protein made from brown rice, obviously, um, <laughs> generally considered <laughs> inferior to whey protein for building muscle. So I thought that was interesting too. Um, obviously the whey protein's at the top of that list there for probably because of those amino acids as well. Um, yeah, so brown rice protein. I think that was in both of ours, right, Jill? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But like kind of when I was reading before is it's not a complete protein. So on its own, it's not super great. Um, it is higher in sulfur containing amino acids, um, but it's lower in um, like lysine, which is a essential amino acid. So I think that's kind of why it's not necessarily, I've never really seen it marketed as its own protein, I guess. Like I don't see at the store like brown rice protein. Yeah. I think it's more of one that's just incorporated into a lot of the different mm -hmm. yeah. based or vegan um, protein powders. Because it does have benefits, but it's not all in one, like a whey protein would be, you know. Mm -hmm. The next one on our list, which is our one, it's a mixed protein, excuse me, mixed plant. Um, so a blend of plant sources to provide body with all the essential amino acids. Two or the wing are usually fine. Um, pea protein, hemp, alfalfa, chia seeds, black seed, artichoke, and quinoa. So there's a couple different new ones to the list now. Um, yeah, alfalfa. I don't think I had the alfalfa. I don't think I have that either. Did you have artichoke? No. So that's in there. <clears throat> and then quinoa. I have quinoa in mine. Oh, I don't have quinoa in mine. So just kind of interesting all around. And I'm sure if you would search on a different website, you could find a whole nother list of seven or five where soy might even be on that list. So again, it was healthline.com is where I went to just to kind of look. Um, but again, like I kind of just stick to what I know, to what I like. And um, Idealine is kind of my go-to right now because I really like their stuff. And I love that they have a sale all the time. And they have, um, even they have bars and stuff there too. And sometimes if you spend like 50 bucks, they'll give you like a box of bars for free. Um, Justin ordered um, a bunch one time, all those fun flavors. So gingerbread, maple syrup, and he got a free gift. And that little sweetie got me a sports bra, glad it fit, um, but it came free. Um, so they just have random things like shirts and sports bras and like a little bit of clothing, not much, water bottles, things like that. Um, but I do really um, very much so enjoy their protein and their, their BCAAs. If you listen to one of our other conversations that we had, the peach tea that I use is the same brand. Um, but yeah, so what we'll do in the comments is we'll post what we use. Um, maybe we'll take a little screenshot of what we do and add it into the bottom of the comments and feel free to share what you guys use at home as well. Um, if you have any further questions about it or anything like that or just want an opinion on something, feel free to ask us. If we don't know the answer right away, definitely we'll just ask Ashley. She'll probably know it. Um, so. <laughs> So don't worry, we'll find the answer for you or we'll be looking online as well to do some more research. Um, but yeah, so don't forget to, uh, well, I shouldn't say this right now. Ladies, do you have anything else you want to say about protein powders? No, not really. <laughs> not really? We're good, right? We just want to give you some nice general good information. Um, well, one last little tidbit that I, when we were talking earlier, um, what were we looking for again? Like maybe a protein powder that has 20 grams per scoop. That what you had said so um 20 grams per scoop and looking for five grams of protein or less correct and i'm looking at ashley because that was the information that came from her this isn't like twenty grams information of that i normally know so five grams of carbs or less carbs or less right so um, 
So take a look at what you got at home for your proteins. Get some other ideas. We'll post ours in the comments. Um, hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Um, don't forget to share these videos to anybody, you guys. We're here for our entire community, um, not just our YMCA members. We want to help our entire community out for this time period. And I know protein powders probably isn't the topic that you is high on your list to listen to, um, but at least we're going to make you laugh. We did the robot a couple times in here today. Um, so follow us on Facebook and Instagram, and make sure you add that comment to the bottom today. We'll see you guys again soon for our challenge of the day. Thank you. Bye. Yes. <laughs>